we have chosen our characteristic scales, so now we can rewrite our equations in dimensions form. And if you chose the correct scales, some simplifications may arise, as we will see in our case in this video. So first we write down the full problem in dimensional form, with capital letters for dimensional variables, conservation of mass of water with a diffusion term, uh, sum of conservation of water and oil, uh, boundary conditions at injection, and boundary condition uh, far away. Now, how do we rewrite those in dimensions form? It looks horrible, but it's actually pretty easy. So what do you do? Your capital R, so your dimensional R, becomes a small r, the dimensions r, dimensionless r times your characteristic length. Your dimensional t equals your dimensionless t times your characteristic time. Your characteristic, uh, your u, capital U, your dimensional velocity becomes your dimensionless velocity times u characteristic. And u characteristic is of course r characteristic divided by t characteristic. And then you uh, uh, plug everywhere where you have a capital R, you plug this in, where you have a capital T, you plug this in, and where you have a capital U, you plug this in. So that's what you do. There's a, a particular choice. Uh, here we say, well, okay, we leave r characteristic free and then we choose t characteristic in this way. As you saw in the previous video, because we use our boundary condition uh, to find t characteristic, we use this t characteristic to simplify our boundary condition. So what happens if you do this, for example, for q inject? So what do we have for q inject? We just leave the phi and the 2 pi, we leave the h, but we have a capital R equals small r times r characteristic, and capital U equals uh, small u times u characteristic, and an ejection point uw is the same as u total. Uh, now we can solve for this r times u total. Uh, it's a lot of uh, it's a lot of mass. It's this mass over here, but due to the choice of t characteristic, which we made over here, this horrible mass just becomes one at r is the uh, at the injection well. Well, of course, that's how we choose t characteristic in the first place in order to get some simplification like this. So that's for our boundary condition. So our boundary condition becomes r times u total equals 1 at the well. Now use uh, this equation over here also in dimensions form. It says that uh, the dr of r times u total is a constant. So that means that r times u total equals 1 for all r and t. So this product equals 1. So it will simplify the other equations as well. We will keep it for now. Uh, of course, we could just plug in one and then continue, and that's fine. But we will keep it for now, because if you later on would want to generalize to incompressible flow, it's nice to see where the RU total is coming in. And that RU total won't be constant anymore. So we will keep it in the equations, even though in this incompressible case it's just equal to one. So we have uh, done equations two and three. And uh, now we move on to the long equation, equation one. So focus on the right hand side first. Here we have a capital T, which contains dimensions, so we make it dimensionless. The SW is a volume fraction, so it is already dimensionless, so that's fine. Phi porosity is the same. Uh, we have a 1 over R and a DDR, so we get R characteristics over here. We have a R times U total over here, so we get an R times R characteristic and a U total times R characteristic over T characteristic. FW is fractional flow, so it's dimensionless, so that remains the same. And then you see uh, that uh, we can take out the T characteristic over here, and then we have factors R characteristic which are cancelling out. So that's the left hand side. It's just a 1 over t characteristic times the dimensionless version of the left-hand side. Then we move on to the right-hand side. We do the same trick. We have a 1 over r and a ddr, so we get some factors r characteristic over here. We have a d cap, which contains which uh, contains some dimensions, and we have a small r uh, times r characteristic, 
characteristic for the capital R over there. And for the DDR, we get an other factor of R characteristic. So let's see, some R characteristics are going to cancel out, for example, this one and this one. But we are left with some uh, rubbish. Uh, and uh, uh, one of R characteristics squared, we put it over here. Uh, and this one was taken already in. So then, if we compare, if we multiply by T characteristic, what do we get? Uh, this is nice and dimensionless, and all dimensions have moved to this one constant, d cap times t characteristic over r characteristic squared, which is some uh, which is some dimensions combination now. Now, if your capillary diffusion is constant, which is often used as an approximation, then this d cap t car over r characteristic squared has a name. It's called one over the Peclet number, so it's a very well-known dimensionless number. So all the constants are now in your Peclet number from the first equation. Second equation becomes really nice. Are you total is just equal to 1. And boundary conditions, SW equals 1 at I equals RW, the dimensionless well radius. And SW equals cone at water saturation at the dimensionless uh, uh, reservoir uh, uh, radius. So here we have the dimensions form of our radial. Uh, buckley leverett problem, uh, where you are still free to choose your uh, characteristic skill as suited for your own problem.